Today, I'll be showing you how to make something I showcased in a previous video. The SAA1099 stereo sound generator chip connected to an Arduino Uno so that you can play MIDI files on it. Without further ado, let's get into it. To make this, you will need an Arduino Uno and at least a medium-sized breadboard, a bunch of wires, the SAA1099 sound chip, an 8 MHz TTL oscillator, an audio jack, preferably stereo, two 1K resistors, one 10K resistor, two 100 picofarad capacitors, a bunch of little wires, and an optional LED. To begin building it, we'll first start by placing the SAA1099 on the breadboard. We'll connect VDD on the sound chip to power, and we'll connect VSS to ground. We'll go ahead and connect chip select to ground to keep it pulled low. We'll put the TTL oscillator next to the sound chip on the breadboard. We'll put a small jumper between the clock output on the TTL oscillator and the clock input on the SA1099. We'll connect the 10K resistor between IREF and power, and we'll bend it out of the way so that we have room for other components that will go next to it later. Now you'll connect pin 8 on the Arduino with write enable on the sound chip. And then pin 9 will connect to A0. Now we'll put a capacitor between out right on the sound chip and ground. And then a 1K resistor between power and outright. Make sure that the leads on the power and ground side of the capacitor and resistors are not touching, otherwise they'll short and nothing will work. We'll do the same thing for out left. Another 1K resistor and then a capacitor. The resistor is connected to power, and the capacitor is connected to ground. Again, make sure that the leads aren't touching, otherwise nothing will work. We'll put a small jumper wire between power and an empty breadboard row, and then connect our audio jack with the ground or tip pin connected to that power. Since I have a mono audio jack, I'm just going to connect one wire from out right to the mono input on my audio jack. However, if you had a stereo jack, you would connect both out right and out left to the right and left inputs on your jack. We'll go ahead and wire up the power buses on both sides of the breadboard a wire between each power bus. Now we'll connect Arduino 5 volts to the power bus on one side of the breadboard, and ground on the Arduino to the negative bus. We'll wire up the power for the TTL oscillator. I placed mine on the breadboard so that the clock output pin was closest to the clock input pin on the sound chip. Now we'll connect the data lines. They go from D0 to D7 on the Arduino to D0 to D7 on the sound chip. Optionally, you can connect an LED between A0 on the sound chip and ground to show you each time the Arduino writes a command to the sound chip. Now we'll plug it into a speaker, and then plug it into a computer. Now we'll need to download and install the library for the SA1099. 
go to your web browser and go to github.com slash bobcatmodder slash saatunes. I'll put a link in the description. We're going to need this saatunes.zip file, which is the library. Download that. Minimize our browser and go to the Arduino IDE. Now under sketch, include library, add.zip library. Navigate to your downloads and select the zip file. Now it should add it to your libraries. Go to examples, scroll down to SA Tunes, and select the example program. Now we'll just upload it to make sure everything is working as it should. If you want to use your own MIDI file with this, we're going to have to go through a few more steps. First of all, find a MIDI file that you want. I already got mine downloaded, but you can use whatever MIDI file you want. Next, we're going to need to convert it to a byte stream that the Arduino can understand. To do that, we're going to use a program called MIDI Tones, which was written by the original author of the library I based my SAA Tunes library off of, and it can be found at lenshushtek slash tones on GitHub. So we're going to go here, and you can see there's a short description. You can look into that if you want. And But what we want is this midi-tones.exe. We'll download that. Minimize our browser again. Now we're going to find our downloads, and this is our MIDI tones. Now if we just try and run this, that's all it's going to do because it's a command prompt thing. So what we're going to have to do is open a command prompt, then navigate to where we have the program and now we can run it. That will give you all of the options. What we're going to do is MIDI tones minus V minus D which will include a describing file header and the percussion or sorry the velocity data from the MIDI file and then the name of the MIDI file and I have Hall of the Mountain King Now you can see it's generated a new text file, and this is all the data from the MIDI file converted into a byte stream. Now you can open this with normal Notepad. I happen to have Notepad++ installed. So I'm just going to copy all of this, go back to the example sketch, and if we just try and create a new file, it's going to tell this is read-only. So what we have to do is save this as a new program in our um, save this in a, as a new program in our example sketch. Now we're going to add a new tab, and we'll call it. I'll call it hall.h. You can call it whatever you want. You may have to make sure you put that dot h at the end. So now we're just going to paste that in, go back to up to the beginning, and here where it says unsigned char, we want to change that to byte. Um, Len Shishtek's newer library uses the unsigned char, but I base my version off of a little bit older version of his library, and so it has to use a byte. Anyways, we'll go back to here, and here where it says include ragepenny.h, we're going to copy and paste that and change this here, the name, to hall.h. Go ahead and comment this out because there's not enough room on the Arduino's memory to store both of them. And then, since I happen to know this one it does include a file header, and the file header takes a little bit of time to load, I'm going to comment that out, and then we're going to go ahead and upload that.
hopefully by this point, you've got the SAA 1099 connected to your Arduino and it's playing MIDI files for you. That's all I have for today, so if you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them.